G'day everyone, I'm Scott from Mount Hominy Library. I'm going to do a baby books and rhyme session for you today. Um, we're really missing all of the wonderful uh, Mount Hominy families that come into our library and we're hoping that we'll be able to see you soon. But until then, we will do a baby books and rhyme for you now. Um, what we will start with is our children's acknowledgement to country. So if you want to follow along with me, here is the land. Here is the sky, here are my friends, and here am I. Well done guys. Um, now, I'm going to do a story that I know off by heart because when my children were much younger, they used to get this story most nights. And it's a book by Mem Fox called Good Night Sleep Tight. Now I don't have the book here with me, so apologies, Mem Fox, um, but I will, I do know most of this story off by heart. So bear with me and I'll tell it to you. Goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Vivian Ben, and she was being looked after by her favourite babysitter, Skinny Doug. Now she was all tucked in for the night when Skinny Doug came in and said something quite unusual. He said, good night, sleep tight, hope the fleas don't bite. If they do, squeeze them tight and they won't bite another night. <gasps> I love it, I love it, Sophia and Ben. How's it go? Will you say it again? Some other time, said Skinny Doug. But I'll tell you another on the front, Mother. Do you know this one? Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and wash poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain and incy wincy spider came climbed down the spout again <gasps> i love it i love it and ben how's it go we say it again some other time said skinny doug but i'll tell you another on that front mother patty cake patty cake baker's man bake me a cake as fast as you can prick it and pluck it and mark it with b and put it in the oven for baby and me. <gasps> I love it, I love it, Sophie and Ben. How's it go? Will you say it again? Some other time, said Skinny Doug. But I'll tell you another one from my mother. Round and round the garden, like a teddy bear. A one step, a two step, but uh, tickly under there. <laughs> <gasps> I love it, I love it, Sophie and Ben. How's it go? Will you say it again? Some other time, said Skinny Doug. But I'll tell you another I learned from my mother. You might know this one. You might have to have some stars in the sky. Can you put some stars in the sky? Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are <gasps> I love it, love it, Sophie and Ben How's it go? Will you say it again? Some other time, said Skinny Doug But I'll tell you another I learned from my mother Starlight, star bright First star I see tonight I wish I may, I wish I might Have the wish wish tonight. <gasps> I love it, love it, Sophie and Ben. How's it go? We say it again. Now listen here, said Skinny Doug. It's time for all good boys and girls to be fast asleep. <coughs> and that's what she did. She went fast asleep. Hope you like that one. Uh, we'll do another rhyme in a tick. But it's really important, I used to love doing nursery rhymes with my kids, and it's really important as parents for us to actually explore language and uh, to talk through words and how, what they mean to our kids. Um, it's part of them learning over time. It's one of the reasons we actually do all these wonderful nursery rhymes with our kids. But now I'm going to do a favourite one at our uh, Baby Books and Rhymes, and is Galump. Okay. Galump went
went the little green frog one day. Galump went the little green frog. Galump went the little green frog one day, and the frog went glump, glump, glump. But we all know the frogs go la di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da. We all know the frogs go la di da di da, they don't go glump, glump, glump. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed um, these couple of rhymes and I hope you guys are all keeping safe and well and we hope to see you back at Mount Hominy Library and all of our wonderful libraries within Brisbane City Councils really soon. Catch you then. Bye.